Hello, welcome to MEC 280, Pollution and Human Health. My name is Jay Mendelson. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. This time we're going to talk about chemical pollution. The first thing you need to know is what's the definition of chemical pollution. Simply, chemical pollution is the harmful effects on animals and plants from having a chemical get released into the environment. And that chemical can be a byproduct from a manufacturing process, such as PCBs, or it can be the actual chemical that was used in agriculture, say a pesticide, to kill insects that remains on fruits and vegetables even after the insects are killed. Which is why your mother always told you, when you were growing up, always wash fruits and vegetables before you eat them. There's short-term and long-term effects of chemical pollution. Some chemicals are so toxic that they can be deadly even in the short term. Usually, though, there's a buildup of chemicals in the environment over many years and people intaking said chemicals over many years to have negative long-term effects. These articles will explain the difference. This page is a who's who of some of the worst chemicals that are out there for pollutants. Formaldehyde is nasty stuff. It was originally used in a lot of building products and it has one usage that will go on and on and that is it's used to preserve biological specimens. It smells horrible and if you breathe in a lot of formaldehyde you're going to be coughing and coughing and wheezing maybe even get nauseous. And if you go to med school and you're in anatomy class you're going to learn all about the effects of formaldehyde and you're going to have to get used to it. Mercury and lead are some of the most dangerous metals out there and their negative effects on people have been known for centuries. Mercury was played with by scientists in the 19th and 18th centuries and it caused madness and lead can do the same thing, severe brain damage. Asbestos was originally used as a flame retardant and it is still found in buildings built in the 1950s and, and 60s. Asbestos did a fantastic job of stopping fires in buildings. But by the 1970s, people began to realize that if you breathe in asbestos fibers, they cause lung cancer and asbestos was soon banned from construction. But every once in a while, an old school or an old building is rehabbed and there is an asbestos abatement program where vinyl plastic sheets are put over the construction site and people are told to stay away and the workers have to wear hazmat suits to work in there where the asbestos is removed. Polychlorinated biphenyls, otherwise known as PCBs, were used in the production of electrical transformers in the 1940s and 1950s. And in a famous situation, a General Electric factory along the Hudson River south of Albany dumped thousands of pounds of PCB into the Hudson River. But then people also began to notice that PCBs could cause cancer. So they became a banned substance by the 1970s. And for the next 40 years, people have been dredging the Hudson River trying to get the PCBs out of the river worried that they would actually get into drinking water taken from the Hudson. Pesticides are one of the most ubiquitous chemical pollutants out there, but they serve a huge benefit in that they preserve our food supply. But no one's ever found a way to protect us 100% from the negative effects of being exposed to pesticides long term. Extreme worries about chemical pollution in the 1960s led to a watershed event in 1970 when Congress created the EPA. And these articles will talk about the founding of the EPA and what their mission is. In later decades, the EPA branched out into regulating other types of pollution. These days, they're the U.S. government's number one regulator with regards to global warming, but you should know their original founding was for chemicals and in particular for the effect that pesticides were having on migrating birds all across the country. So with that, I wish you good luck on this week's material, and we'll see you next time.